Hello. I thought we would end these 50 episodes with the video that started it all, you know, the first video that I uploaded to my channel was called my OP Skyrim character. And uh, I think it's a nice way to end these, this first half, I'd say. Go around the house, show everything that's happened, what I have, what I've collected, and show what I've done. Because right now, I've pretty much completed every main thing in the game, you know? So let's go ahead and start. I gotta say, man, this Daedric armor looks so awesome. Where should we start? In the quests? As you can see, I have a few quests, nothing major. I still have the Ebony Warrior because even though I already killed him, I uh, saved beforehand. So I can fight him as many times as I want, which I plan on doing because it's fun. And I have many ideas on how you want I want to fight him. By the way, uh if you're confused about this, so let me just get this right off the bat, or say this right off the bat. This is not the end of completing Skyrim. I'd like to think this is like the mid-season finale, right? Because there's still things I want to do, and there's a lot of mods and just things I want to do in the game. Because it's fun, I enjoy it a lot. Among those things is fighting the Ebony Warrior and Karstag in different ways, with different gear, all of that. Right, so, um, after this episode, I'm going to take a little break, a couple of weeks break from completing Skyrim because I am going on a little vacation. But I will keep on uploading level 300 versus type videos to my other channel so i created a new channel um it's called aura or aura whatever you want and over there i'm going to be posting those types of videos like level 300 vampire lord versus the ebony warrior any interesting fun kind of fight that i feel like doing i'll upload right there so if you're interested in that go ahead and check it out because I'm also gonna be, as I said, taking, like, there's not gonna be a new completing Skyrim video for a couple of weeks. All right. That being said, here's all of the quest, quests that I've done. All right. So I completed the main storyline, all the other storylines in the game, uh, all the DLCs. I even did the Bard's um, storyline, which is like, one quest one or two quests i didn't put it in any video because it wasn't that interesting also all of the main i'd say most of the main miscellaneous and side quests i've done at this point i'm going around and i'm basically only getting miscellaneous quests of the nature of bring this salts to this guy and some of those quests are infinite you know so i've gotten multiple quests or I've got some quests multiple times, done them multiple times, and I could still... Oh man, I didn't want to go out. Look how beautiful it looks. It's nice. Well, I guess it's a good time to show the house, right? So, at this point, I am living in Winstead Manor. I still have so many locations to discover. But the map is looking kind of full. Uh, I built this house, the Hell's Yark and Hall. And where's the other one? Lakeview Manor, that's the other one. So those are three houses you can build. I've built them all. Let's go inside, take a look at the chests, the house, all those interesting things. I like this cow though. I like it a lot. He's like my best friend here. Since Serana left me. So what do we have here? We have uh, like some interesting books. Not a lot. Just like the ones I find the most interesting. Of course, I have the black, all the black books and all three Elder Scrolls, but I can't store them or dispense with them, you know? Okay. Let's go in. So here to the right, we have the ingredients, right? I'm collecting a lot. And I plan on using these a lot more in this second half of the series. Nice. And then if we, if we go up here, 
We've got the soul gems. The filled soul gems, I should say. All right, very nice. Let's take a quick tour of the upper level. Nothing very interesting here. Here's the fucking <laughs> psycho guy. He just stands there and looks at the empty weapon plaque. It's kind of creepy, but uh, I'm creepy. Well, my character is creepy as well, so it's a nice match, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Did he leave? Who just entered my home, bro? All right, let's go into the armory. So there's something that's been going on here, you know. I have these armor stands, mannequins, whatever. And what I wanted to do is, so this one has nothing, right? This one only has the boots, this one the gauntlets, this one the armor, and this one's only supposed to have the crown. But my game's glitched, as you should probably already expect. So whenever I take the rest of the armor off of this mannequin, and then I leave the game, and then I come back for a later session, it's got full armor again. So because of that, I've been able to gather, I've been able to basically duplicate this armor. I imagine, I don't know if it would work with any other armor, but as you can see right here, I have four crowns aside from this one, four ancient former crowns. I really like this set, that's why I used it in the mannequins, the ancient former crown. I think it looks awesome, and I definitely plan on using it in the near future, you know. It also happens with this one. This one's not so fun because the armor doesn't look as good, but... Every time I've tried to take it off this mannequin, whenever I log back in, it's there again. So I have also have this armor uh, duplicated a bunch of times. And also the ebony mail, which I have in the cellar. But the reason why I wanted to do it like this is so I can store each different piece of armor beneath. Who just did that, man? Who just yawned? Kind of creepy. All right, so for example, this one's supposed to only have the crown or the headpiece. So here, I store all the headpieces, interesting headpieces that I have, including some, um, oh, the ebony mail is not supposed to be here, or the vampire armor, what the hell. So eventually in the future, if I'm looking for like a cool headpiece to use, I'll just go in there and choose one, right? This is the armor one, so let's actually go in here. You can see the ebony mail. Bunch of armors. I should go slower with these, right? It's kind of the point of this video is to show everything that's happened in the, these first 50 episodes. Well, let's go ahead and add the enemy mail and uh, the vampire armor. And then right here, we have all the gauntlets. All the boots. And here, this one doesn't have anything. It's the rings and the necklaces. Okay, very interesting. Now, as for the weapons, this barrel contains all the shields. I've been collecting. Nice. Okay, my house is literally haunted. This one has all the one-handed weapons. You remember the Leviathan axe I used for a while. All these interesting other ones that I plan on using. using. Many of them. These are the two hundred weapons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is this? Bows? The bows. Oh, and the stabs as well. Nice. What else? Am I missing anything? I think that's it, right? Even though this armor looks awesome, but we've had it for almost 50 episodes. Time for a nice change, but I am going to store this one. I'm also going to craft my necklace again because I don't want it to be an incomplete set. I love this armor. It's got some great enchantments. I want the necklace back. All right, what do we have here? I don't have anything there. Actually, I think I missed something. Is there anything in this chest? Yeah, here's some of like the miscellaneous unique items I've collected. Not some of them, all of them, I should say. Oh, the flame spiders. Nice. The witch heads. And 
now here I just keep my crafting gear so that like the silver necklace and the silver ring and this is just like the other wing of the house where I don't keep anything really at least not yet now right, let's go into the cellar so here we have all the amulets I've collected which you use to craft these shrines very nice uh, here's the armor stand where I have the ebony mail so this one's glitched as well if I take it out and then eventually log back in and it'll be there again all right all of the crafting slash building materials including daedra hearts are here Mm -hmm. Here's all the arrows, slash bolts, projectiles, you know, reclink spears. I want to have a build using reclink spears. Alright, that's it for this. Actually, that's not it for the cellar. So for some reason, I used to just have a coffin here because I'm a vampire, right? Like, I think that's clear. <laughs> Through, throughout the whole playthrough, I think I've made that very clear, right? But since the anniversary edition update released... It automatically like changed the space for me so now it's got like this little entrance and like a hidden wall with a coffin inside I don't know if that's like a subtle way of telling me that I should hide my vampirism and I still haven't upgraded to the anniversary edition I, at least I don't think so I haven't done it myself well, unless it did it automatically I do plan on doing it I wanted to get to episode 50 and then do it which is still my plan now let's just finally take a look at what I have on myself so I have the ebony arrows I've been using, probably still going to use those because they look so cool. Steel bolts. The iron dagger that does 400,000 damage just in case. It's good to have a weapon like that. And then here's my weapons that I've been using this whole time. They've been pretty good, pretty nice weapons, very balanced. I'm very proud of this armor slash weapon set that I crafted for this playthrough because it has been very balanced for the legendary playthrough and uh, here's the armor nice missing the necklace we should actually go ahead and do that right now you know craft the necklace there we go oh my god I've been missing the skills right yeah so I mean I've showed them a lot as well you know but I guess this is like the whole character overview, so I should show them again. Everything at level 100. This time we're level 300. The character, so I still you can't see it because the legendary, the triangle, legendary little thing blocks it. But I still have like what 41 or 48 perk points I could put. All right, very interesting definitely go with alteration if you want to level up and definitely this is the easiest way to do it that's why it's 213 times legendary i used to keep pelagius's hip bone here it's like the crown jewel of my achievements but uh it again used to glitch out all the time and ended up on the floor and i thought i'd lose it eventually so no i think i'm actually just gonna go with uh actually i think i'm gonna go with the health regeneration yeah nice all right let's rename it there we go the golden necklace all right this armor set is complete once again i lost that necklace whenever i uh went from the ps4 to the ps5 and transferred out all the save files oh i look with this oh my god this looks <laughs> even more creepy that's it this is my OP Skype character. Not too fond of the title now as I was whenever I first uploaded that video, but I, I gotta go with the same title, you know? What have you thought about the series so far, huh? You like it? I've enjoyed it. I think it's, it's ended up to, to be a pretty nice series, I think. I like it a lot. I enjoyed the episodes. Hopefully you do too. I enjoy the progression, how everything has developed, the order in which we did all the things. That's nice, it's nice. And there's still way more to come and some would argue that what the next half is going to be even more interesting because it's going to be new for me right everything that i've done so far i had already done before in other playthroughs but what's to come 
I haven't done. Most of it I haven't done. There's still so many things left. So yeah, I'd say that's it. Remember, there's not going to be a new completing Skyrim episode for a couple of weeks. If you want to watch some more Skyrim content, specifically of the nature of level 300 versus videos, then go ahead to the other channel. It's going to be in the uh, end credits and probably in the description as well, right? That's it for this video, man. Hopefully you have a nice day. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, thanks for watching.